I'm going to have Tenny talk about what she does, how she started, and how she was able to get multiple job offers. I think Tenny is one of those lucky people that within two weeks got two job offers. I was like, Fala, which one should I take? Okay, so Tenny, over to you. Hey, my name is Tenny, and um, I'm a cybersecurity risk and compliance analyst. And basically what I do is centered around um, third-party risk management and also business continuity and disaster recovery planning. So what I do is basically, um, so when people try to use softwares that are not approved or that have not been um, through a risk assessment, they get like blocked. So they have to submit a request for a risk assessment to be completed. And that gets assigned to me. So I have to reach out to the requester and um, ask what the use case for that software is and find out what kind of data um, will be involved in like the use case of the software. Because I work at a college and we deal with a large number of students' information. So we have to make sure that like we're complying with um, you know, privacy regulations and also other um, security regulations as well. So basically the information I usually receive from the requester helps structure my risk assessment. And um, my day to day has to do with reaching out to vendors, sending them um, our risk assessment checklists, um, which is usually drafted based on our risk appetite. So basically sending out questionnaires and also requesting certain documentation based on what um, the use case for that software is. And um, I basically conduct risk assessments, um, go through the documentation. If I'm satisfied with the controls that are in place, I recommend the approval. But if I'm not satisfied, I reach out to the requester to find out if there's any other um, alternative for that software. And if there is not, then I reach out to the vendor to find out if there is um if there are ways to mitigate the concerns that we have with that software. So that's basically um third-party risk management in a nutshell. So just making sure that like um, the risk of the vendor softwares that are being um, engaged with are managed and are controlled. And also making sure that um, we also conduct privacy risk assessments because a lot of these softwares collect personal information. So it's always good to like um, regulate that as well. And I'm also in charge of um, coordinating business continuity and disaster recovery. Um, my job isn't really too technical. I'm mostly in the um, managerial aspect of things. Yeah. So I just make sure that like the um, business continuity plans for all the departments, not just security or IT, are regularly updated, reviewed and tested. And this, this, this is really done like annually, like once a year. So we make sure that it's done according to the company policy. And I'm also in charge of um, monitoring the major incident response team. So anytime there's a major incident that happens, I monitor like the communication and the remediation. And I also create um, reports on that because um, it's always very important. Like if you're going through external audits, they want evidence that all these um, things have been cataloged and that they've been um, written down. So I just make reports on that and identify like the communication and work with the incident response team to find out um, lessons learned and all those things. So that's basically my job uh, in a nutshell. And um, in terms of the training, the only exposure I had to GRC was actually the Winfinite um, training by FOLA. Um, I was fresh out of undergrad. I did my undergrad in software engineering, but I didn't really have any direction. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I was looking, I found out that, okay, cybersecurity seems interesting. So I was looking for trainings that I, I couldn't find any. And um, for last training was actually one of the first ones I found. So I reached out to her and I actually joined late. Um, and I'm actually very, um, very happy that I found the training because I found it at an, at an early point in my life because I had just, I'm very young and I had just finished my undergrad and I've reached a point in my life where I'm actually earning more than a lot of people in my um, in my group and stuff. So I'm really happy that Fola exposed me to that and the training was um, very beneficial and I would actually encourage anyone that wants to go into cybersecurity or maybe anyone that's thinking, oh, that cybersecurity is too technical, that also other like non-technical routes. I wouldn't say they're not too technical, but other routes that are yeah, not too technical. technical. <laughs> yeah, that you can go. And it's always good to do it earlier on. And another thing to note is what they said earlier about um eagerness to learn. I feel like that's what helped me land both job offers because one thing I realized, I kept 
learning and learning, but I kept getting to interviews and there were still things they were asking that I had no idea about. So having that eagerness to learn and making them know that, okay, um, even the, the job I'm doing now, I was actually shocked when I got the job because I was asked a couple questions that I didn't know. <laughs> and I just told them like that, like I wasn't too familiar with that because it's not in my, um, I don't really have experience in that, but like that I'm always eager to learn and also letting them know like where your knowledge is, like what you know and what's like you're willing to do in that position. So I feel like eagerness to learn is something that really helps me land my role as well. And for that support as well. Um, I remember one of my first interviews, I was, I couldn't sleep, <laughs> I couldn't eat. I had to call her for encouragement and um, just knowing that it's actually not that serious as long as you put in um, the effort and also learn what um, Fola is giving. She breaks down everything into understandable concepts and also you get like practical sessions and um, group work and assignments that you do from the training and it's all, always very important to practice and practice so that you're um, able to apply that in the real world as well. And yeah, that's that's all I have. <laughs>